Hi everyone, it's Nicole Spohr here today for Spellbinders with some Christmas Truckin' Through the Seasons die cut cards to share with you. These cards feature the October 2018 Truckin' Through the Seasons large die of the month that now has even more add-ons with the April 2020 club kits from Spellbinders. Plus they have some additional add-ons that are so much fun. We're going to start by building the backgrounds of our card, stenciling some white pigment ink through the Honeybee Stamps Snowfall Stencil on Fun Stamper's Journey River Rock cardstock. I want to make sure that I get a really good coverage all over the background here. We're going to be layering a stencil and a background stamp to give this background a lot of interest. It's still going to be fairly um, neutral, I guess I want to say, so that the truck and dies really pop. We'll also be adding some fantastic foiling using the April 2020 Glimmer of the Month and some Essential recti Rectangles Glimmer Plates. Once I have the white pigment ink inked through the Snowfall stencil, we are going to take the Simon Says Stamp you are background stamp and stamp a subtle text background over the stenciling. This is going to give that tone on tone look and what I love about a text background stamp is you don't actually have to like read the text or anything like that. It just gives a nice subtle interest to the background. I love stenciling embossing folders, background stamps, text background stamps for a card that is predominantly die cut. This really kind of gives a little bit of interest to that background without overpowering the focal point, which is, of course, that adorable truck from Truckin' Through the Seasons. I also stamped that text with that white pigment ink that I used for stenciling the snowfall. Next, we are going to warm up our Glimmer Hot Foil System and Glimmer the rectangle from the Essential Rectangles Glimmer Plate Collection. I have mentioned this over and over and over. I know I'm a broken record, but these are fantastic glimmer plates. There's rectangles, circles, ovals, and squares. I love them all. They are amazing. The rectangles probably definitely get the most workout in my craft room, but I love them all. So we're going to glimmer red foil over our gray and white background, which for me is one of my favorite Christmas color combinations. I know it's kind of crazy that we're in April and um, just had Easter and to talk about Christmas, but Spellbinders came out with these dies and while they work for many different occasions and I have created cards with these sets um, for different occasions like wedding and baby and I have another video coming that's going to feature birthday ideas. Christmas always sneaks up on me and I bet it sneaks up on you guys too. So I love already having some Christmas cards. And I also love the fact that the original Trekking Through the Seasons had the Christmas tree, which I'm going to use the Christmas tree on the next card. But this one has some, the uh, small die of the month for April 2020 has some different images like an ornament. And it also has things for other occasions as well. But it has the ornament that I think is just really fun, plus the holidays tailgate. So after I have glimmered my rectangle frame, I want to glimmer the Merry Christmas sentiment from the glimmer of the month for April 2020, which is called Celebrate the Day. And this is, again, another great versatile set that has lots of different occasions. It's got two Christmas greetings, and so I'm going to use both of them for my Christmas cards today. Both Christmas cards are the same. I'm just going to switch up the tailgate and what I'm tucking into the bed of the truck. Once I have glimmered the Merry Christmas here, and I use a little repositionable tape to hold that glimmer plate down, I slide my foil underneath that and then glimmer it, and there's a look at what our background looks like. These steps are gonna be the exact same steps for the second card. Then we are going to take our die cut images and start assembling those to make our truck. When gluing down the truck on the background, you want to make sure and not put any glue back behind where the bed of the truck goes. 
This is going to ensure that you're able to easily slip inside any of the embellishments. In this case, we're going to be using the ornament from the April 2020 special celebration set and then the Christmas tree from the original Truck and Through the Seasons for the second card. I'm assembling the truck by gluing the truck in place. We're going to put the wheels then underneath. We've got our great little chrome bumper here. And here's that adorable ornament, which I've die cut from some fresh forest and then some pearled basics white cardstock from Fun Stamper's Journey. All of my cardstock today is Fun Stamper's Journey cardstock, whether it be their regular cardstocks or specialty cardstocks. And then we're going to slip that ornament into the bed of the truck. And what I love, it's it's this big oversized ornament that has the word happy. And then if you use the holidays tailgate, it gives you your sentiment for the card. This is a really sentiment heavy card as I've got a foiled sentiment, this die cut sentiment that's also part of the image and the die cut little scene that we're building. And then we're gonna have a little stamped phrase underneath the foiled sentiment as well. I did the opposite of what I did for the ornament for the tailgate where I did a background with the fresh forest and then we're going to layer the holidays on top of that die cut from the pearled basics and I'm just putting an acrylic block on top to help hold the liquid adhesive down until it's all the way dry. For the rear view mirrors, or the side view mirrors, pardon me, I like to take some tweezers to help hold on to them since they are pretty small. These were also die cut from some silver mirror cardstock, and we're going to glue those in place on either side of the truck. Those little mirrors really help kind of pull the whole truck scene together. We also have some tail lights which will finish off the truck. And I like to do a little inlay, so I die cut the truck twice, once from the color that I'm going to die cut the truck, and once usually from a silver mirror or another kind of silver cardstock or gold cardstock to inlay those little pieces, which I will get to here in a second. I decided to embellish that ornament in the back of the truck, and over some of those little die cut holes, I'm going to adhere in place some crystal clear gemstones just to dress it up a little bit more. Now while I used the ornament with the truck, you definitely don't have to. You can use this like kind of hang it from your card and do maybe a trio of ornaments or something like that. Use it with some other ornament dies that you might have from Spellbinders. There are lots of ways to use this without the truck. And that goes for all of the dies in that special celebrations, April 2020 small die of the month. There's wedding rings, there's balloons. You can use those with or without the truck. The truck just is a really fun little way to um, incorporate and add on to something that Spellbinders already has out there, which is this little truck and through the seasons. So there is our ornament in the bed of the truck. These are those little thin inlay pieces I was talking about that I die cut the bed of the truck there from the silver mirror cardstock and I'm gonna inlay those in place. I think they just kind of help really reinforce and um, show the bed of the truck and that little tailgate area. I like the contrast they provide there. And I originally thought I would do some red and white baker's twine through the top of the ornament and it just, I didn't end up loving how it looks so I removed that. I've stamped a little phrase from the Simon Says Stamp Tiny Words Christmas stamp set, trimmed it into a thin strip and then popped it there underneath the Merry Christmas foiled greeting. And we're going to add some silver twine 
then to the top of the ornament and just knot it. It's going to kind of hang loose there, but I ended up really liking how this looked a little bit better than the baker's twine. The elegance of the silver worked with my overall look and feel that I wanted for this card. We'll just trim up those ends. And then we have just a few things left to add to this card. I want to make sure and add my tail lights because that finishes off the truck. These were die cut from some white pearled basics card sock, cardstock. I'm using a crystal katana to easily pick these up and pop them in place after I added dots of liquid glue. And then I really felt like my truck needed just a little something extra. So this little gift package works with so many things. It can work with birthdays, weddings, baby cards. I've used it for everything. It's part of the original Truckin' Through the Seasons set. And I've die cut it from the greens and the silver sparkle and the white sparkle and red cardstock. And we're going to assemble a trio of gift packages down near the base of the truck. So one there over on the left left side and two over on the right. And this final step is going to finish off my first card. We'll adhere this whole panel then to a white top fold card base. And we have a Christmas card ready to go when the holidays roll around. So next, we are going to talk about the second card design, which as I mentioned earlier, was created exactly like this one. I stenciled the background with that snowfall stencil on Fun Stamper's Journey River Rock cardstock. I added the background stamp over that, the UR background stamp from Simon Says Stamp. I foiled the Glimmer Rectangle around the perimeter of the card using red foil and this time from that glimmer of the month for April 2020 celebrate the day I used seasons greetings the truck is going to be assembled exactly like the truck on the first card with the exception of instead of adding the ornament we are going to use the original tree from trucking through the seasons tucked into the bed of this truck now I'm making sure not to assemble the branches of the tree. I'm only adding adhesive in the center of my tree for this one. And that's on purpose so that I can easily slip the layered tailgate sentiment underneath. So it kind of overlaps the sentiment a little bit, which I really, really like. We'll get all of the little tree pieces glued in place. And then for the tailgate, this is actually from an add-on. This is that was just released with the clubs and everything, and it's called Even More Sentiments. So there are quite a few different sentiments that work with the trucking through the season and this one says be merry and i just loved it for this christmas card we're going to use the black pearl basics back behind the white pearl basics die cut greeting and glue that right there on the tailgate kind of slip it up underneath the branches of our christmas tree And then again, everything else about this truck is going to be assembled exactly like the first card. We'll have the little inlay, we have our tail lights, we have our side view mirrors, and then I just picked a different sentiment from the Simon Says Stamp Tiny Words Christmas stamp set, trimmed it into a strip and popped it up underneath the season's greeting foiled sentiment at the top of the card added a glittered star to the top of the tree from Truckin' Through the Seasons, and that will finish off these two Christmas cards featuring new dies and glimmer plates from the April 2020 Club Kits. 
Thank you guys so much for joining me today. The supplies I used to create these cards are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring Spellbinders Club Kits that you might be interested in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to never miss a new card making video. Thanks for joining me and we'll catch you next time.